Hi, my name is Stephanie and I am a hot mess mom, 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 kind of proves the point. My name is Stephanie. I am a hot mess mom. Uh, so I love sharing information. I am a person who loves to share information. I love to share knowledge. I love to share tips, things that I wish I would have known. So that is the goal of this specific video. So let me know in the comments what you think and if it helped, if it didn't, if there's any additional tips to give anyone else watching this video, I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot. Please keep in mind that this video specifically is going to center around my experience, uh, what happened the day we went. It was Your experience is likely going to be different than mine. My tips may not apply to you, but hopefully at least you get something out of them to help you be more flexible on the day that you go. Yes, you're getting water on me, but that's okay. You're doing great. Ooh, careful. Out of nowhere. So lunch was surprisingly good. It was out of a little food truck. I mean, it wasn't anything necessarily special. Like I wouldn't drive there for lunch, but I was pleasantly surprised. We got a chicken wrap, a Cuban wrap, and uh, tenders, which were super crispy, small, uh, bumpy nuggets. Some kids are really particular, so that way you know exactly what kind of tenders they were offering. Uh, and then we got cheese fries. We only ordered one cheese fries, but all of them came with fries, so they put cheese on all of them for us, which was wonderful and delicious. So lunch was really good, and it was a really nice area. There were a couple of benches in the shade. We ate around 12.30. Yeah. Ooh, is it yummy? Yeah. pretty high in the sky even though it is winter so I mean is it high in the sky whatever for winter it was so there were a couple of inches in the shade there were a couple of not and it was still pretty slow so we had the pick of the benches to ourselves and there's a nice little running area and space for the kids to run while they are waiting for the lunch because it did take a while but it's also because that was one food truck for anybody who wanted lunch and it was lunchtime like the line didn't get very long, but it stayed steady. The sign did not say they took Amex, but they did. Do you need to go potty again? P, you need to go pee pee again? All right, do you want to take them really fast? We can just hang out. Okay. okay. I also packed snacks, but the snacks were for the hiking and afterwards because kids if you let them they'll eat all the snacks ahead of time and then you won't have any snacks for later So, here's where we are, okay? Yeah. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna make left, and hopefully go a little bit this way. I would like to go to the Swamp Trail. What do you think? So, blue to blue and yellow, to blue and red, to orange, yeah? Does that sound good? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not? Yeah, he's left. All right, let's do it. Something that I was really upset with myself about was that I didn't pack enough water. We packed over 150 ounces of water. And on the way back, my son in the back, the oldest one, he drank all of his water bottle and we didn't have any left to fill his water bottle up with. So he was complaining on the way home eating Pringles chips uh, while not having water to drink. And I felt really guilty because mom guilt is real. And though I told him, I'm so sorry, we will get it when we get home. I felt really bad. Bring lots of water. We didn't have any mosquitoes on our kayaking adventure, but now that we're in the woods, they are everywhere. Here, sweet. We had mosquito repellent bracelets. You've seen them. They look like the hair ties. I 
saw them before and I thought that makes sense. Wear them as a bracelet or an anklet. And I then did my immediate, but nothing works. None of that mosquito repellent stuff works. Bleh, bleh. So we're going on a cruise soon. I was like, this is a great time to try them. Let's buy them. We'll try them. And if they don't work, whatever. I won't be expecting much. And my husband and our oldest son, I can stand next to them in a swarm of mosquitoes and not get bit because that's how much mosquitoes like them. Like they're just preferred mosquito blood eating. Blah, 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 blah. I got these and we were swarmed hiking. Swarms and swarms of mosquitoes. So that my husband ran with the stroller away. And I was just walking because I, I was not about that life right then. I was like, I'm not gonna run. I'll catch up, I'll walk fast. It's gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, they ran. Turns out my oldest son only got bit by three mosquitoes. Overall for being in swarms of mosquito, I, I would dare say that the mosquito repellent bracelets we got worked. Or at least worked well enough, convinced me well enough to buy them again and keep using them. So that was nice. You can do that for as long as you want, my love. I'm supposed to go to blue yellow. So you gotta come back. We need to go left. See the pole? See how it says yellow this way? Yes. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> right. Yep, slightly to the right. You like wobbly roads? We need to go up. Up? Yeah. I'm going to school. Oh, there's a... Echo. This is a pokey stop and a weird Pokemon just appeared. Because some of you might be interested in it, I have to say that Pokemon Go was, Pokemon Go was a slay. So my kids just started getting into Pokemon. During lunch, we logged in. That, I mean, right, facial recognition. Does that tell you what it is I played? I guess that might be it. That's me throwing a Pokemon ball. During lunch, we played Pokemon Go and there were a lot of Pokestops. There were also some Pokestops on the hike, which was very interesting. Uh, so if you play Pokemon Go and you wanna play Pokemon Go outdoors, Silver Springs is a good place to go. But which way are we going? That way. Blue and red? All right, let's go. Uh-oh. Did we lose a shoe? Do you need help? Oh, all that sand you've been running through. Here. Oh, which way are we going? Come on, walk, please. Ray, would you like, hey Ray, it's been about 42 minutes. Would you like to get out and run? Uh-oh, there's no sign? No, that's a red oh. 
I wasn't sure which way to go. Red. You can carry them. Come on. Green light. Yeah. This is a very sandy spot. Yeah. yeah it's so sandy it looks like snow. <gasps> Raise in the lead. Oh, not for long. So over here is orange. Over there is red, blue, and orange. We wanted to go to the swamp trail. So red and blue. We want to go just orange, right? To go up and then we'll come back. We're like carrying them. They wanted to hitch red. They're tired of flying. All right, let's go. Which way, Ray? Keep going. Come on, Ray. Yep, you're going to go get them. I believe you. There are so many mosquitoes. We took a little break, sat down for a second. All right, let's go. Keep walking. No, Ray. We're almost done. You want to sit in the stroller? You want to sit in the stroller, Ray? Oh. All right, Fox. Which way do we go? Yep, we go straight. Nope. All right, let's cross. Wait, why don't you have shoes on? <laughs> so many mosquitoes. So he's running away. Keep an eye out. We should probably see some really cool things in here. Because he's four. Five. Oh, he's five now. Right. Sure she's like an yeah. She looks good. She's doing okay. Oh, you're not doing good? Okay. Yes. Let's go ahead and turn around. And let's get back in the stroller and we'll eat some snacks. Shh, quietly, please. Honey. My love, we already sat on the bench. You just want to sit on the bench again? No, 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 no. You want to sit on it? Okay. No? no? I don't know what you're saying, bud. You just want to go buy it? Okay, yeah. quickly run, please. <laughs> quickly run. We will stay right here. Oh, you want to read it. I understand. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. 
It says West Mitchell Troop 440, First Baptist Church of California Eagle Project. So that bench was built or placed or paid for, or all three, by an Eagle Scout troop. Do you feel better now? I'm sorry, bud. Are you hopping back in? Do you want to get back in? Oh, I got it. All right, come on, get back in. That's a neat beetle. Nice find, Daddy. Way to not run him over. I said there's a bug. Yeah, there's a bug crossing. You didn't see the sign? <laughs> Why did the bug cross the road? Why? To get to the other uh, bug. <laughs> to get to the other uh, bug? To get to the other side. Ah. Three miles, 29, 13 minute, a mile. And it's currently 2.40 p.m. Lots of mosquitoes. Sorry, bud. Yeah, you can go to sleep. I got some. Now, why are you saying too well? Hmm. You get near my hand. <laughs> well, now you reminded her of Pua. Pua's in the car. Yeah. I mean, we're booking it back. Yeah. Which is actually pretty nice because the, well, the way in. We took our time and let the kids kind of dictate our speed. And now they're complaining and fighting and want to go to the car. So we told them to get in the stroller so that way we can hurry on back. So, um, and on these long trails, so once you're out at like the foresty area, um, the mosquitoes are not so bad, which is lovely. I'm kind of sad we lost the sun. You're doing awesome, Max. I'm so impressed. He's pushed the stroller the entire way. <laughs> Put it somewhere on top of the log, yeah, maybe. Throw it. Oh, that's very nice. Hey, okay, hop back in. Love it. Hi. Are you hopping back in? Yes, they're both asleep. Always. Oh, you like it. Read my notes. Read my notes. That's not. Oh, shoes. So I got new water shoes for my husband and I because again, we're going on a cruise. I haven't mentioned the cruise. I'm really excited about the cruise. My husband loved them. He even took them on the hike and he liked wearing them on the hike. This was a lovely time to try out those water shoes and he liked them and so hooray we found water shoes that we really like they were actually pretty inexpensive they fit really well uh, very very light they even have holes in the insert so that way sand can fall through them so you're not like that is a weird like physicality like our floating dry proof bag was phenomenal i actually used it a couple days ago as well at aquatica 
which we've used it before, but I used it by myself. I took two of my kids to Aquatica. I took Echo and Fox. And so I wanted everything to be carryable because I don't like well, lockers. I don't want to pay for a locker. And I don't want to have to go to a locker every five seconds because, you know, kids, I want my hat. I don't want my hat. I want my hat. I don't want my hat. I want my hat. I'm hungry. Kids, right? So I wanted to make sure I had everything on me. And let me tell you what, I was literally floating on that thing and not one drop of water got in it. So we packed everything that we had in that waterproof dry bag and it was phenomenal. So that was a little bit about our hike. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. I'm sorry it was so long. I'm trying to edit it down. What can I say? Huge shout out to Seth did the composing. That kid, just for me, uh, of the song to this video. And just, he's, one of the most talented people I know, and I cannot wait to see where he goes in life. Um, but yes, big shout out to Saf for composing the song that underlied, underlied? Words are so hard. Big shout out to Saf for composing the song that was the underlying music feel of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video like, subscribe, blah, whatever you want to do. Have a good one.